Folks, hey, we're going to sing this new chorus together. It just says, all hail King Jesus. Try it with us. It goes like this. It's all hail King Jesus.
special night. I can tell God is going to do something in and through us. So thanks for being here. And if you're joining us online, thanks again just for like taking time in your night to gather as the body to bring praise to the one and only to hail King Jesus. And uh, I got to tell you, we've been we've been talking about this night as a team for, for quite some time. We've had like planning meetings about it. And uh, but the thing that separated this night different from some past nights we've done is we just wanted to start with the why. Like before we plan the songs and before we decide like who's singing what, where we're gonna stand, all that stuff. It was like, you know, what do we hope to be true after 7 p.m. on March 7th? And here's what we came up with. Here's what I think God led us to. I think God wants to say to us as a church community that like you have a direct line to me. Because of what I have done, if this is God, for you and I, because of what God's done for you and me through Jesus, man, we can approach him. That didn't always used to be the case. So we can bring uh, our messes, we can bring our best days and our worst days right to God and be in relationship with him. But being in, in relationship with someone takes some things, right? It takes intentionality, it takes time, it takes energy sometimes. My wife and I have experienced this. We've been, we've been married a little over a decade now, which is weird to say. I don't feel like I'm that gray yet. But, uh, but like 
on our best days, in our deepest like connections in conversation, I feel like we aren't approaching it with a to-do list. We're not approaching it with a checklist of like, okay, I gotta figure out what time to drop the kid off at preschool, and then who's going grocery shopping, and, and what do we need to do? Oh, the car needs to get where? And I can fall into that trap sometimes. And the sweetest moments we've had is when we've set that down, we've brewed some tea or whatever, we just sit on the couch and we end up talking for hours. And we find things along the way that we never would have planned, we never would have stumbled on unless we just spent the time together. And folks, church, here's what I believe. I believe this time is that time for you and God. So we're gonna go into these, these few songs in this middle section that we have planned just to give you space to give you space to like unpack some of those things that maybe like Pastor Dale said this morning that have gotten out of order in our lives. It's your space to put that back, right? Maybe this is your space to just reflect on who God is. Maybe circumstances have clouded that out. This is your space to like be or grow in relationship with Jesus. It's a special thing that it offers us. So I just ask that you just uh, seize the opportunity, if I may, to lean in, to respond, to give more and more of yourself in worship to Jesus. Let's do it.
I do want a lot of things besides you, Jesus. I want I want people to love me and admire me, and I want a comfortable, easy life. I just want so many things, but Jesus, I know that I, none of those things will satisfy me except for you. I don't need any of those things. And so we just want to take a little time to, to pray and just to repent of the things that get between us and God. So if you guys would join me with this, We're just going to spend a little time. I'm going to pray out some things that I want to lay before the Lord, that I want to invite him to take, to set my focus on him, to remind me that he's really all that I need, and to repent of the things that I've gotten, that have gotten between me and him, because I don't want that. Um, And I invite you to pray these things with me. Just ask God for his forgiveness. He's already forgiven you. If you love Jesus, if you've given your life to Jesus, his blood covers you but we still want to repent of these things because we want our hearts to be made whole. We want our hearts to be after the heart of God. And we want to come to love him more and more and just lay these things at his feet. So I'm just going to pray some things. I just invite you to examine your own heart, to let God examine your heart and to to show you what specific things you might need to give up to him, you need to repent of. And you can know and believe that he will forgive you, that he'll make you new. So... Father God, I'm so sorry for all the things that I let get between you and me, for the things that I put above you in my life, for making an idol of my myself, of my own appearance, of my own um, success. Um, God, none of that will ever be more important than you, so I just I want to repent of that. I want to ask you to give me a new heart that just puts you above everything else. And I just invite you to work in my heart to that end, God. And Father, I'm so sorry for the sin that I've let rule in my heart, habitual sin that I continually fall into. I just want to repent of that. Father, I'm sorry for letting busyness and distraction and complacency keep me from remembering that you are the focus of my life, that you are my purpose, and that only you can give me fulfillment. Father, whatever else may be getting in the way, God, we just lay it at your feet. We thank you that you make us clean, that you make us new. We thank you that you satisfy every desire of our heart that we think other things will satisfy. Only you can. Thank you for helping us to see that tonight. We know that, Jesus, we need nothing else but you, but we also we want nothing else but you because we know how good you are. We know how good your love is. So we want to sing this again. And 
this time, God, just help us to mean these words. We love you. We lift this up to you now. Just sing this with me.
Lamentations chapter 3. And I want this to be the prayer for all of us in this moment today. So as I read this, just listen to the words and let it reflect from your heart wherever you're at today. So listen, so listen to these words and pray it inside your heart as well. And it says here, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will, I will wait for Him. The Lord is good to those who hope in Him, to those who seek Him. And church, that is what we're doing tonight. We're seeking His face in worship. And we're just diving deeper his presence of who he is so let's sing of his faithfulness think of all the times that God has been faithful to you in your life and from the depths of your heart let's sing these words together that we put our faith in Jesus that he is our anchor Faith in Jesus, my anchor. 
Worthy is your name, Jesus. He is so worthy. He is so good. And as we close out this evening, whether at home or joining us here live, let's just give Jesus all that we have left in us, whatever bit of energy we have left for the night. Let's just raise our hallelujah because he deserves all of the praise and all of the glory. Amen.
let me out of the drum cage. Uh, my name's Grayson, if we haven't met. Um, and hello if you're watching at home. Hi, Hannah, if you're watching. I love you. Um, wow, what a night. Wasn't it amazing to experience God together? Oh, what an answer to prayer. So um, let's just thank him for, for answering our prayer and showing up as we worship. Uh, Father, thank you so much for, um, yeah, like we got to sing about your uh, mercy and sending your son. Um, thank you so much for, for sending Jesus, for showing us this love that we've never never uh, seen anything like before. God, you know everything about me. You know everything about every person in this room. And for those that are in Christ, you completely and totally accept us. No one else would completely and totally uh, love me if they knew all the darkness. Would love anyone if they knew all the darkness in all of our hearts. But you, you do. Your love is like no other. And thank you for changing us. Thank you for sanctifying us and making us more like your son and not leaving us there. And God, thank you. Thank you for coming to this earth as Jesus. Thank you for being obedient to the point of death. Thank you for ransoming and purchasing a people for yourself. And you've given us a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And you've bought us. And you brought us into, we were once orphans. We were once your enemies. Even worse, we were once completely your enemies, dead in our sin. And you made us family. You made us sons. You made us daughters. So we just praise you. We love you, God. And we pray for more of this um, in our church. We pray for more um, deeper worship. We thank you because we know it's a gift from you. We know we can't even repent. We can't even praise. We can't even lift our voice without your help. So we just uh, praise you for the gift that tonight was in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Well, I guess I'm the one to officially uh, send you on your way. So I don't know if if the coffee cart is still open. Jeff, do you know if it's still open? Okay. I can't give any further instructions, so I guess go in peace and God bless. <laughs>